All right, y'all, welcome back. It's Albert LaBelle, and uh, I was recently at my local home improvement store again, and uh, I came across this set right here. Now, I've done a couple receiver um, locks on this channel, but if I remember right, you had to get, uh, there were separate ones. So if you wanted the uh, half inch, you had to get the half inch, and if you wanted the five eighths, you had to get the separate five eighths. But this one, they made it so it comes with both pins that fit the same lock. So you know, it got my attention. Plus, I've never seen that name before, that Brock. So, I had to have it. You know me, I'm a lock junkie. Had to have it. So, yeah, receiver lock, command the task. Uh, dual bent pin fits one and a quarter and two inch receivers. Obviously, the diameter's right here again, half inch and five eighths. But I did notice, I was checking it out, by the way, $17.98 for the, for the set. They had a single one which was weird. They had a single one, again, with just the one size, and it was like 24 bucks. This one, and it was the same brand. So for some reason, I don't know why, but this one with both of them was costed less. So yeah, I don't know. But I noticed, uh, before I turn the, this on, um, nowhere here it, does it say uh, hardened steel. That caught my attention too. Usually they'll say some kind of, you know, hardened steel of some sort, but it doesn't. So let's, let's pull it off here. Bada boom, bada bang. And there we go. The keys. Twist ties. Oh, they got this one wrapped up. There we go. All right, so yeah, it looks like both fit the same deal a little dust cover around there don't know how long that's going to last especially in oklahoma it freezes it cooks it freezes it cooks so any of these like rubbery cover thing and thingy dealies uh they don't last long outside we've got some rough weather out here uh wow almost looks like one of them keys somebody cut with a uh cheap file good lord that one looks even worse just look at that. Doesn't it look terrible? Anyways. Any hoodles. Uh, wafer type lock. Okay, ball. Got a little single ball in there. I'm sorry, two balls. <laughs> it's got it's got two balls. Two really strong balls in there. Yeah, that's it. So yeah, the big guy, the little guy. Yep. So they literally just made both ends the same size. But yeah, like I said, I've, I've had them before, tried these before, or featured some of these before, rather, and uh, they were separate. So kind of cool you get both on there. I guess if you don't know while you're at the store, you just get this set and you can't go wrong, right? <laughs> And like I said, this one was cheaper than the single one. I don't know why. More affordable, rather. Uh, and it is not key retaining, so you can take the key out. As you can see, while it's unlocked, lock it. Or rather, lock it, unlock it. Sorry, that's locked. Jeez, Al. That's unlocked. That's locked. All right, so, you know what? Looking at that key, I don't even think we're going to need like a uh, tensioner and a rake. So, I'm just going to grab my trusty old, uh, where's it? There we go. I forget what that one's called, but it's from Sparrows. It is the, uh, man, what's it called? This is a clue right there. Ah, uh, it'll come to me. All right, let's just see if we can't just jiggle this sucker open. Because I've got a feeling, like I said, just looking at that key right there. Let's just see if we can't do it like this. There we go. Bada boom, bada bang. So yeah, I wouldn't put too much faith into that. Now, since I picked it open, let's see if I can put the key in. Since it's not key retaining. Yes, I can. 
Bada boom, bada bang. Put it back on. Lock it back up and do it again. Just kind of jiggle it while I put rotational tension at the same time. There we go. So that's fun. But yeah, uh, obviously wouldn't put too much faith into these, but I got to tell you, it's better than not having any kind of lock on those uh, receivers at all. You know, if you just got one of them uh, um, hairpin looking things in there or something like that, uh, you're going to lose. Uh, we've got uh, trailers stolen around here all the time, folks. Uh, I guess it happens so often, they're really hard to track down. So it's, yeah, it's unfortunate, but it does happen all the time. So, you know, even if it's something like this, if that's all you can afford or whatever, uh, I do recommend some kind of lock, okay? Don't uh, don't just go with a, a clip pin or something like that. So, yeah, I'd say better than nothing, but obviously not great. So there you go. The Brock receiver lock. Oh, hardened steel. Let's find out. It doesn't say, though, so we can't fault them for that. It doesn't say hardened steel anywhere on here, but I want to check anyways. I'm going to take that rough edge. Uh, we'll just go right here. Why not? Absolutely not. It's chewing right in there. But again, it's more likely someone's going to go through that lock rather than trying to cut one of those off. But better than nothing. Okay, use the lock, folks. That's it. The Brock Receiver Lock. Thank you all so much for tuning in. I highly appreciate it. Remember, if you're not subscribed yet, you need to do so because all the cool people are doing it. And uh, I got a message too. Um, I might be moving soon, so my videos might start getting a little sporadic in the near future. So um, just hang on there with me, all right? I'd appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs>